should have upgraded that when I had the chance. Okay. There we go. We've upgraded quite a bit as it goes through my codex. And you can see it on the map now. Look at that. Extended fuel cells. Extended probes. We got sensors that are upgraded. We now have the shields and armor. See, it's even written up there. That's so cool. I don't see where it talks about the fuel, though. Where's the extended fuel? Extended fuel cells? I'm assuming they just have it there. Heavy ship armor. This thing's becoming a tank! Shield harmonics. About a cool down. That's gonna come in helpful. Submachine gun damage. <laughs> yep. Extended fuel cells. Alright, now we're going to upgrade our fuel cells. And increase our probes. Now we're going to go help Jacob. And this is where you use your fuel. Now if you run out, they'll take from your element zero. If you don't have element zero, I think they like sell stuff and somehow get you set up to have fuel. I'm not sure what else they use, but oh, that's poor. I'm not going to use that. Yep. Oh, this is a rich planet. Searching, searching, searching. Come on. That's great. Now let me scan. <laughs> we're going to deplete this planet from orbit, and then we're going to go in and help Jacob's dad. Okay, let's try a little low. Okay. That's cool. Needed that iridium. I don't care about the collector assault rifle. I will upgrade everything, don't get me wrong. Just right now, not interested. Palladium. Pro. Platinum. Need more iridium. And element zero. That's a good amount of element zero right there. Launching probe. Palladium. Look at all that platinum. Some platinum and some element zero. A trauma module. Yeah, I'll get that, but I don't need it. Probe away. Platinum. Probe away. Probe. This was not an iridium rich planet. It has some iridium, but not quite. Oof. Yeah, there we go. Get a little bit of everything. Depleted. Alright. Go. Go. 
Land. There we go. We've taken Jacob and Miranda. Now we've upgraded a little bit, hopefully. Uh, she has white, black, and awesome. <laughs> Still haven't upgraded you guys, really. Eh. Not gonna spend any more points. Now, after this mission, it'll start the specialization mission, which we have no choice but to participate in. It won't let us go any further. So, let's hope we upgraded enough to survive, because otherwise, this is gonna be a real short trip. Intact. It could have survived impact, but it's been years. Don't worry, Looks we'll like figure it, it out, Jacob. Crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Man. Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. Override. Well, that sounds good. space where is this there it is that is Oop, hold on this is in Me something else, hold on. Yeah, I'll look at that here in a minute. Alright. So we have a crash and uh, crewmates taking advantage of other crewmates for neurological decay as mentioned by this uh, alert. VI Danger here. Of rapid neural decay. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Wow. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? 
Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Who's in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. No kidding. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. No kidding. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Come on, let's get going. Our father had a working beacon, but didn't signal for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems unlikely. Fair point, Miranda. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out. Oh, I almost didn't get Hunters, that in time. They won't stop until the leader huh. is dead. Kill them. Agents I'm gonna stop the putting liar. my controller down. He will not escape. You're up. <clears throat> Tag. <clears throat> <clears throat> This is fun. Get over here. So, Miranda, are you staying hidden? Like, why do you keep on taking shots? Right between the eyes. Not quite, but close enough. That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Okay. I mean, we'll be able to make sense of this, eventually. That's a beautiful planet. Strip for parts. Lots of water. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Nice. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. It makes males get violent? Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. 
One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. 